Hey, good morning, everyone. In front of me, I have an um, astonishing Cartier, uh, Roton de Cartier from the Collection Privé, uh, the fine, uh, fine watchmaking collection from, uh, from Cartier. This is a 35 millimeter watch in, um, in white gold. But don't let 35 millimeter fool you. It is a watch with quite some wrist presence and um, um, beautiful aesthetics. So we can see that it's um, designed for Collection Privé for the fact that it has the, the Breguet hands, the heat blue Breguet hands. It has the flower motif around the, around the hands. The engine turned Guilloché dial. It has the um, blue C on the, on the balance wheel. And it is uh, individually numbered, um, which I'm covering with my finger, of course. Uh, and the watch is, of course, precious metal. So it ticks all of the boxes of, uh, of Collection Privé. It was released um, a few months after this continuing uh, Collection Privé. And this Big Brother, um, a 42 millimeter version, was released uh, during uh, CPCP. And you can clearly see that this is designed and manufactured during that period, but just released shortly after. Um, after discontinuing the, the line. So this is a, a big date complication and a true big date. So two, dep two separate um, uh, date wheels are, are um, bringing us the two digits of the, of the date. I'm going to um, move the hands a little bit out of the danger zone. Not sure, yeah, we saw the jump already. So it has an uh, uh, instant uh, date jump at midnight move it a little bit further and you can see if we bring it a bit closer how it turns to the next to the next day it's a really a cool system uh, really a, an affordable or also a relatively affordable alternative to the Langenu zone big dates uh, complications at the bottom we have the, the small seconds and overall, this watch is uh, extremely well balanced. Uh, great symmetry in the dial, great handset, great complication. Slim. I don't know exact uh, the exact thickness, but it's a it's a very slim uh, watch with screw heads on the on the on the strap. That is interesting for such a small watch. And on the back, we have the manual wind caliber um, uh, provided by uh, JLC. So this is a 70 hour um, power reserve manual winds uh, caliber finished by Cartier delivered by, by GLC. We can see we have uh, on, the, on the side of the plates, we have the beveling, the hand polishing of the, of the plates. We have an uh, engine, of, uh, sorry, a machine engraving of the Cartier logo on the back. We have the heat blue C on the, on the balance wheel. And the movement fits the case so perfectly. It's really, this movement is meant for a 35 millimeter watch. His big brother was a, a 42 millimeter watch with the same movement. And there you can see how um, um, the big date complication is way too low inside the, inside the dial because it needs to match the movement, of course. Um, and overall, you can see that the movement is just way too small for that, uh, for that watch. Um, this just breeds just pure elegance and class. And early on in my, my watch collecting um, journey, I didn't really consider Cartier. I thought it was a jewelry brand, um, blah, 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 blah. But once you refine your taste a bit more and you look into the history of these watches, you see that Cartier is just pure, pure class. And it has its, its own design language, which is so recognizable. And um, this is one of the, 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 the watch brands that will... No matter what happens, it will exist and people will acknowledge the value and, and brand of Cartier. It's an extremely strong uh, brand. Um, as I said, it, it has quite the wrist presence. So I, I have an, uh, quite a slim wrist. I'm going to show you, bring the IWC Ingenieur today. Because it's, because it's weekend. And you can see here how nicely it fills up the wrist Close this. so this size first of all is perfect for me but you can see with the luck with how how really present this watch is and this is by far not a small watch as a 35 millimeters uh, 
uh, would tell you. On the back we have the Cartier clasp. As we know, the Cartier straps do not have any any holes in it. You adjust it by putting it through the through the clasp, putting it further in or not. It's not an ideal system for me. I just prefer to have the the holes. Makes it also easier to open the watch if you want to uh, to show the movement uh, or look at the movement uh, up closely. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye bye.